Now, how can you open the WhatsApp web on your Android phone? And now, obviously, at first, I need to mention that you can open up the Play Store and actually get the official WhatsApp app if you are interested in that. Like, it is available, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. And WhatsApp web is designed for the purpose of getting the support for uh, platforms where the app is not available. So we used to have access to it through the iPad or a computer. However, if you still want to do it, you can open up a web browser of your choice. It doesn't matter which one it's going to be as long as you start a new uh, like tab right here. And what you can do is literally just go through the screen like that and go to WhatsApp web. Now, obviously, we need to pick a little bit more reliable web browser. So we're going to go like this and we're going to type in WhatsApp web right here. And the first link should work, right? And you can see that uh, WhatsApp web officially doesn't really work. As I mentioned at the beginning, it only works with like, I mean, you should use it ideally on the app, but what you can do is to always ensure that you request a desktop site like this. And now it gives you the access to scan the code on your device to get inside, right? So if you have your phone with the WhatsApp sign in, you're going to use it. You're going to use it like that. So you essentially just open up the uh, WhatsApp application. Just make sure you find it like this and then just go to the uh, settings right here and click on account. Essentially, you're going to go through the options and click on the QR code right here. So this gives you the ability to scan it on a computer like that. And you will have the option to just add it and sign in with that account to your uh, computer. So it works relatively simple. However, as you could notice, in here inside of the WhatsApp web platform, you also have the option to log in with a phone number. And if this gives you the same option, just like you have on your phone, where you essentially just go and type in your number right here and then the verification code, and you should be able to just make it work, right? So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know below in the comments what you think about it. Subscribe for more guides and videos like this one, and I'll see you later in the next one.